The intent of this video is to discuss how B-17 gunners use their machine gun's ring sight system in targeting German fighter interceptors. To successfully hit the interceptors, bomber gunners need to aim at a location away from the fighter, based on the angle of the fighter relative to the bomber's direction of travel. This is called deflection shooting or position firing. The B-17's flexible mount guns adopted the 35 mil rad ring sight as their sighting system as shown in this view. It is critical that gunners maintain a 20 inch sight base during range estimation or position firing. A fighter interceptor will attack the bomber along a predictable pursuit curve. He is always aiming ahead of the bomber's nose since it will take time for his machine gun bullets to reach the bomber. He must keep turning into the direction of the bomber's course. From position A, the fighter will start flying a curved course, aiming his guns ahead of the bomber when firing. If he has accounted for sufficient lead, the bomber will fly into the fighter's bullet stream represented by these dotted lines. As the fighter closes in on the bomber at positions B, C, D, E, the lead required diminishes and his accuracy increases. Point blank firing and then breakaway occurs at position F, about 100 yards or so from the bomber. This image represents a fighter attack from the B-17 waste gunner's position. The fighter is at position A, well outside of the waste gunner's range. He is scanning the bomber formations looking for less disciplined combat box formations to attack. At position B, the fighter has picked out his prey and is starting his attack. The bomber gunner will call out incoming. It will appear to the gunner that the fighter is sliding in sideways. At position D, the fighter is at point blank range and will start his breakaway. For effective position firing, the bomber gunner will need to follow these rules. Always maintain a sight base of 20 inches. Always keep the sight post B tip aligned with the middle of the ring sight's crosshairs. Open fire in short bursts at a target range of 600 yards or less. Only open fire if the interceptor is incoming, flying to attack. Other rules include, estimate the angle of the fighter's position relative to the bomber's direction of travel, then apply the correct ring sight deflection. Deflection is measured in rads. One rad is defined as the radius of the 35 mil rad ring sight. Correct rad offsets are defined from memorized tables. This chart represents the rad offsets for a bomber traveling at a true air speed of 200 miles per hour. Other tables are available for faster or slower speeds. A fighter attacking this bomber at an angle of 45 degrees, 135 degrees, 225 degrees, or 315 degrees will all require a 2 rad gun sight offset. Bomber gunners use their ring sight to compensate for the needed deflection. As shown in the previous chart, Fighters shoot ahead of their target. Bomber gunners do not lead their target. They account for deflection. Bomber gunners do not fire ahead of their target. Deflection is defined as the amount you must aim away from the attacking fighter to compensate for its movement and your plane's movement. Bomber gunners must aim between the attacking fighter and your bomber's tail with the correct rad deflection. Gunners must continually change the amount of deflection during the attack, accounting for the fighter's revised position relative to the bomber. These rad deflections are needed to compensate for the forward velocity of the bomber. Note that no deflection compensation is needed for head-on 12 o'clock or tail 6 o'clock attacks. Other rad deflections are indicated on the graphic. Let's look at two examples. In this example, a fighter is incoming at an angle 90 degrees relative to the bomber. Based on the rad wheel, the waste gunner will aim his sights three rads towards the bomber's tail. 
The gunner will aim here in space at point B. The bullets, however, will strike the fighter here at point A. The beauty of this system is that the distance of the fighter or the speed of the fighter is irrelevant in position firing. In this example, a fighter is incoming at an angle of 22.5 degrees relative to the bomber's tail. Based on the rad wheel, the tail gunner will aim one rad towards the bomber's tail. The gunner will aim here in space at point B. The bullets will strike the fighter here at point A. The rad deflection compensation wheel needs to be expanded to cones of deflection accounting for the three-dimensional combat space. Gunners will still aim between the fighter and the bomber's tail with the appropriate rad deflections based on this graphic. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on the circle, World War II U.S. Bombers.